Hello folks, Abfielder here with another Minecraft tutorial and today we are looking at Lightmatica. Specifically we're looking at two things today. These are things that have been asked on my other Lightmatica videos. Links will be down in the descriptions for those. Number one is where can I get Lightmatics or schematics from? And number two, if it's a schematic, how do I convert that into a Lightmatic file? I'm going to show you both of those things. The first way, and in my opinion, the best way, is to look at your favourite content creator's tutorial videos and just have a look down in the description, see if they've included a Lightmatic file in the description. Have a look at my sheep farm, I include one there, I also include it with some of my other tutorials. I appreciate though that that might not be what you're after. The second way is you could go to a website like minecraft-schematics.com, I'll put the link down in the description. And they have around about 12 pairs in different schematics. Lots for you to choose from, from houses to castles to towers to entire towns and things like that. From here, you could click on one and then hit download. It will prepare your download and you can download a schematic file. Once you have that schematic file, you need to import it. I can show you how to do that. I've done a video on it. Link is in the top right hand corner. Once you've done that, you can then just use Lightmatic to import it into your world. And again, I've done a video to cover that, but this video is going to show you again how to import it, but more importantly, how to convert it into a Lightmatic file, because there are some limitations with schematic files, and it is not incredibly simple to convert from one to the other. So we're going to go into that part of the tutorial right now. Okay, assuming you've now imported any schematics that you have downloaded, I'm going to show you how we now convert this into a Lightmatic. Like I said, if you need any more help with this, I'm going to put links down in my description for the other videos that show you how to import schematics. They go a little bit more in depth into some of the things I'm discussing here. But anyway, I've got the stick as my selected item. That is the tool that you will use for Lightmatica unless you have changed it. Now we need to load that schematic we have imported. So I'm going to hit the M key. I'm going to go to load schematics. I'm in the right folder. Now you can see it's got this red S. That's because it's a schematic file, not a lightmatic file. These are all lightmatic files that are in blue. This tells us it's in red. There may be a problem. So if we hit that load schematic, we're going to get this warning around the, fa the fact that it's not persistent. Don't worry about it. You can load it in. There's just a few problems that people are finding for it. So I'm going to show you now how to convert it into a Lightmatic Fox. It's not that simple. Anyway, that has loaded. So we're going to hit Escape twice to come out. And I'm just going to prove here is our build. Okay. Now, because I've got the stick selected, I've got those things in the bottom left-hand corner. Now, the thing I'm looking at here is the very bottom line where it says Mode 5 of 9. You need it on that 5 of 9. You want to be able to paste this schematic into your world. To change that, you use control and the mouse wheel. If you're on a laptop, you can also hit the M key and just do it with this button in the bottom left hand corner. Whilst we're in the menu, the other thing that you need to have set up is in the configuration menu, go into hotkeys. You need to set a hotkey for execute operation. Now you can see I've got left shift plus X. Set a key for it and then escape out and then hit that key. So shift plus X for me. And we've pasted that structure into the world. That is an actual structure. Now, I have no idea why that is in red. That may be a limitation of the schematic files. Now, this is why it's not that easy, because now what we want to do is create a lightmatic of this file, of this, this build. So we're going to hit the control key and the mouse wheel again and change it to area selection. Again, you can do this with the tool mode. Make sure area mode is set to simple and then left click while you've got your stick selected in one corner now don't worry about the fact it went over there that's because i had something else selected and then you want to select another corner now it doesn't really matter where i could select up here i could select here i can't get the whole build with the way i'm doing this so i'm just going to select down here because actually that's going to get everything i want i've just got to adjust it so it gets everything up here so with that selected hit the m key go to your area editor and it's nice and simple for me. You may have selected a different block. It's just all these controls here. We're just going to change this one and we're going to increase the Y axis. And you can see on the screen, it's now going up to select everything. And I believe I've got everything. We will just double check it. That's got everything. There we go. We can now save that as a Lightmatic. So hit the M key, go to the area editor, go to the save schematic. I'm going to just put it into there. I'm going to give it a name. So I'm going to follow the naming convention that they used. 
but I'm going to call it Lightmatic, and I'm going to save that schematic. Boom, and there we go. We have a Lightmatic file, and if I now head over here, we'll go and get some blank space. And we'll hit the M key. We're going to load a schematic, and we're going to go and load the Lightmatic version. Hit that load button. You see how we got no warning that time? There we go. And if we hit, if we go control mouse wheel to number five and do shift plus X, there we go. We pasted it into the world and we have a Lightmatic file that we can share or use with our friends and using our servers and what have you. Folks, hope you found this tutorial useful. As I said, if there are any topics you think I rushed over, it's because I've covered them in other videos. Links will be down in the description. If you found the video useful and you want to see more of my content, hit that like button and definitely hit that subscribe button. Folks, that's all I've got time for for today. I'm Outfielder. Goodbye.